Man, Asana? Really? I might actually review that against ClickUp? The king of being one app to rule them all? Yeah, no, I am gonna compare those two because Asana is actually much better than I thought. Because now when I look at this pricing, I say, this free plan is actually pretty good. So for personal task management, Asana is not bad. You have unlimited tasks, projects, messages, a nice activity log. You can see things from a list, board, and calendar view. There is actually some time tracking integrations. And then for premium, it becomes a pretty hefty price, which is $10.99 per month. And you get some things like timelines, a workflow builder, which essentially allows you to create automated processes to coordinate your teams. You can do higher levels of searches. So this is sort of a filtering thing where I've used this at my job and people really enjoy it and is one of the most slept on features in this. Having custom fields, is really important. Having some forms is nice. And even task templates is really convenient. Then when it comes to ClickUp, you have 100 megabytes of file attachments, but in total, rather than where Sasana has it per task. And then you have unlimited tasks, unlimited amount of free plan members, docs, a whiteboard, the ability to email and ClickUp. And for the unlimited plan, you get $5 per month. And that is a high level of storage, more integrations, dashboards, which are really nice to look at. ClickUp has more features overall. I'm not gonna lie, it just does. There is a more amount of views in general. This is all the different task views that you can get on ClickUp and you need to have a higher plan to have multiple whiteboards. But still, this is really convenient overall. And in Asana, there is a list, board, timeline, calendar, workflow, dashboard. And that is not as many, but the dashboard's really nice and does allow you to have a similar sense of how is everyone doing with the workload on everyone's plate. You even have the ability to have an entire system of documents. For example, this document here even has a lot of the same functionality that Notion does when it comes to dividers and whatnot. It's half decent pages, but it's pages nonetheless that is fully integrated into the software. And then from Asana side of things, it's a little bit more simple. You know, there are some automations that can happen here where you can do things like add custom roles and add apps. So you can add a role to when, you know, a task is added to this project, make sure certain people are assigned those tasks. This does have a really high level of integration with different softwares, but something that ClickUp definitely has. If we press K, this brings up this whole command bar, which is really convenient. And then on my home view, it's one of the best views in productivity apps and you can see uh, the Google Calendar right here. I can easily view it in my Google Calendar. And also this is just the rest of my day. So I'm really happy with the way that this one looks and the way that ClickUp integrates things together. If I go to one of these different tasks, you're going to have a much larger amount of custom fields. So add or edit empty fields. You have the ability to add a new custom field and this is everything you get. This is huge. This is a large amount of different options between the drop down to the relationships between different things. So it's a much higher level of, of capabilities when it comes to custom fields, where when it comes to Asana, the custom fields are not nearly as large. You're only really able to add a few different things. If I add another column here, you're able to get like a single select, multi-select text or number. So it's simple and I do like its simplicity, but it's not as good when it comes to variety. And you're also able to have a better looking description where you can get full screen with this in the task itself. And you could even do things like have an entire Excel sheet, like be viewable. So if I go here to the settings area and go to click apps, there is this Office 365 option where you can view Microsoft files without leaving ClickUp. Another nice small feature in ClickUp is that you can actually track time by pressing start and stop and track time like that. But you know, you can do a very similar thing in Asana with having integration, so it's not crazy different. A really nice convenient thing that you can do in a ClickUp task too is that you can add a relationship. So if I add a relationship to a document here, you can quickly go between documentation for a project and notes and the task itself, which is, you know, something you could do theoretically with Asana if you were to add something in this description section. However, it's not as good of a description section and it can't even go full screen view or anything like that. Now, something I really enjoy is definitely de the dependencies that are in Asana. So for example, I can have it so that this captured here task needs to be completed before I can do this task thing. So you can see I can't ch click or check it off. Yes, I can do this, but it's gonna say this task is still blocked and you can overwrite it, but it's just convenient to know that you need to do one before the other. And that makes it much better when it comes to making a step-by-step -step workflow for somebody. And even when you add a subtask. So in order to make 
that next level, you'd have to go here and then you could add a dependency so that it would be like, all right, this needs to be completed before this. And if you do that with subtask, it gets really nice and convenient. Subtasks in ClickUp are there and are capable. You can add multiple different checklists within one task and you can then even convert those tasks in the subtasks <laughs> to their own individual tasks. However, I gotta say the experience in ClickUp is nice, but to get your head wrapped around it, it's a little bit more overwhelming. If you're looking for just a nice task management solution for yourself or a team, you may wanna go with Asana because even the automation side of things will bug out on you less. One of the biggest knocks on ClickUp, as I jokingly made in the ClickUp Sucks video, but it was serious, is that the forums were just killing them on saying how bad their automation was and how buggy it was. When you have something that's in as intense as ClickUp, I mean, look at the scope of what they're trying to do even with ClickApps, right? You have so many different things that they're creating. Something breaks every once in a while. Whereas from what I've seen with Asana, while it is a little bit more limited, you make a recurring task, it's gonna work. And even on the free version, you're getting a lot of nice stuff there. Now from an integration side of things, they both have a lot. I mean, I'm not gonna act like either of these have less. Obviously the Google Calendar integration is much better on ClickUp than Asana. There is a really convenient thing called this Asana for Gmail, where essentially if you install this, you get something that's really convenient where you can take a click from something like this. You can create a new task and it will allow you to click on any of these different emails and you can create a new task based on what you have in here. But for small teams, even medium teams, you can go away with the $5 a month option for ClickUp. If you're gonna get crazy with what you're doing, go with ClickUp, but simple stuff, keep it with Asana. And if trying to be simple about your productivity improvements, check out this video. See how you can improve your productivity even more.